It's been little over a year since India conducted the surgical strikes and went to the world with the news of the same. The enthusiasm for celebrating these surgical strikes reached such a pitch that even the Prime Minister was forced to acknowledge the role of the media in celebrating the surgical strikes which he did when he was speaking in Bilaspur last week in Himachal Pradesh. But surgical strikes are actually just yet another option in a range of options that India has towards ensuring that Pakistan behaves and consequently the situation on the ground in Jammu and Kashmir actually improves. So now let's take stock of the situation on the ground and see just how much have things evolved. Now, Delhi claims that it has fine-tuned the mechanism for security forces in the valley as a result of which a significantly high number of terrorists have been killed in this season alone. They're also saying that they're controlling the situation on the ground much better as compared to last year. But the data that we have actually tells us that the story of controlling the situation on the ground may not be actually entirely true. In fact, if anything, the situation on the ground, at least the data points, is similar, if not worse to last year. Now let's shift the focus to cross LOC firing. Now last year we had seen that there were a record number of such violations which happened on account of the ceasefire violations that are often counted in that a bulk of them coming after the surgical strikes were announced. They also caused casualties which are unparalleled if you see the data from the past for the Indian side. So really, after the surgical strikes, the situation along the LOC flared up so much that India actually ended up losing a lot many soldiers than it has done in the past. Now let's look at the situation for those who are living in Jammu and Kashmir. The rate of investment into the state has slowed down significantly. If we are to look at the rate of growth in the state, then the level that we're seeing right now is much, much lesser as compared to the level of growth which was seen between 2005 and 2010. Now what does this create? It creates a situation obviously of unemployment, of joblessness and if we are to look at the data it really is shocking it tells us that the situation is extremely serious in fact in most cases the rate of unemployment in Kashmir is double if not more of the national average the data which is being reported in terms of the number of days that the schools are being allowed to operate the data on account of the drug abuse situation in the valley as also of psychological breakdowns actually tells us that the situation is worsening with every passing year and Speaking of anniversaries, this October marks the 70th year since the accession of Kashmir into the Indian mainland. Now, at this point of time, 70 years ago, Jawaharlal Nehru had in fact mentioned that India will fail if India only looks at holding Kashmir militarily. Jawaharlal Nehru in fact had said that India must ensure that those who are a part of Kashmir feel that there's a benefit for them to be a part of the Union of India. It's obviously now up to us to think, to stop and analyze just what is there to celebrate and how much work remains to be done and how much, if at all, we've moved from the position in 1947.